Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Suresh Sidamaram. I'm the consultant gastroenterologist at Bukit Tinggi Medical Center in Klang. IBS is a chronic gastrointestinal tract disorder characterized by chronic abdominal pain and altered bowel habits. Well, guess what? April every year marks the World IPS Awareness Month, World Irritable Bowel Syndrome Awareness Month, and 19 of April every year is marked as IBS Day. Therefore, it's important for us to talk about IBS this month. The symptoms of IBS are chronic and variable. Abdominal pain is the most common symptom and it's usually cramping. Other symptoms will be altered bowel habit, either diarrhea or constipation. The patients will also complain of bloatedness, gassy feeling and so on. The cause of IBS, nobody actually knows. But we can postulate that the causes will be disorder in the contraction of the bowel. The musculature of the bowel, especially the common, is responsible for this. Either it relaxes or it contracts excessively, causing count for the symptoms. Number two, the nerve supply to the gut, we call it enteric nervous system, also being attributed to IBS. We also know that severe infection of the gut may cause due to FIBS. There are few risk factors which is recognized to cause IBS. If you know, most of the people who have IBS are younger people, means age below 50. Females are more preponderant compared to male. And if you have a family history of IBS, then you are likely or prone to have IBS. We also found that people who have stressful lifestyle or childhood stress in terms of psychological or mental can also lead them to have IBS later on in life. IBS is rapidly growing in our country. I would say in a, our referral day-to-day -day gastroenterology referral, we can see almost like out of 10, about 3 to 4 cases will be IBS related. In US, as a figure, I can quote you that 10 to 15% of their population has IBS. And up to 20 to 50% of their referral to gastroenterology are related to IBS. So it's a very common disease nowadays that we see and is rapidly growing. It is time for us to learn about IBS and to know it better. Well, if you have chronic abdominal pain with altered bowel habit, either diarrhea or constipation with gases, bloatedness and on, please consult your gastroenterologist today. Even order some minimal blood tests or radiological examination plus or minus of scopes to diagnose you to have IBS. Most of the time, you just need to exclude other diseases that can be treatable before you diagnose them to have IBS. We call it as diagnosis F of exclusion. I would advise you to seek urgent treatment if you have red flag or warning signs. What are they? If you have unexplained weight loss, if you have diarrhea in the middle of the night, we call it nocturnal diarrhea, if you have rectal bleeding, if you have abnormal blood test, if you have unexplained vomiting, then you have to seek urgent treatment from the doctor. Well, there isn't any magic drug for IBS. I would say that the treatment will be mainly supportive and symptomatic. The supportive treatment that I would always encourage patients are change their meal. For example, increase fiber in their diet, reduce food that causes them to have gaseous symptoms. For example, cabbage, onion, garlic, peanuts, gases drink, coffee, and so on. Um, try to go for a low FODMAP diet. A FODMAP diet itself is a big topic to discuss with. 
please share this with your doctor and exercise regularly uh, relaxation exercise all this helps of course they are medication like i mentioned earlier on but these medications are mainly symptomatic if you have a global pain the doctor may consider starting you on a treatment if you have diarrhea anti-diarrhea will do if you have constipation you may get laxatives from the doctor please consult your doctor before engaging in any mode of treatment well if you have any questions about ibs do not hesitate to consult your gastroenterologist today thank you